16 days ago, I created a silver farming strategy guide to help new and return players farm silver. However, it wasn't as good as I expected because these content require high level character or require too much time to invest in for high return profit. On May 7, 2021, I created a silver guide that utilized total channel most content without any gear investment for my character while using high level assister to do all the work. The strategy required multiple characters between level 361 up to 371 and channel most portal scroll. Meaning that you set up an alt character in one specific location, enter the channel most, let the assistant clear the content, and claim the reward, and then switch out to another character. I managed to acquire a ton of silver back to my same portal scroll investment, but it didn't turn out well by the time the global server received the goddess update. On August 22 to 24, the global server received the goddess update, and it completely removed the silver acquisition from the field channel modes while introducing new goddess token currency. Players can fill farms or do content to earn the goddess token and exchange a new currency for utility items for the goddess token shop. However, the silver removal from the field and channel modes has completely shut down the player's ability to earn silver for the early game. Now, don't get me wrong here, I believe IMC has introduced a new currency that were in both old and new content, but it did not help out the new and return players in many ways. You see, the silver currency is still essential in many content and systems like buying premium items, queue costumes, and enhanced materials for the market system. Players can still use the enhanced coupon that they obtain from the Garden Token Shop, but they cannot unveil or upgrade the item properly due to lack of silver. Don't forget, you still need silver to purchase potion or any other sort of restoration items like stamina pills or temporal scroll from the Ghost Story NPC. The token is also another great item that most players need to purchase or invest in if they ever planning on trading with another players or purchase and sell items on the market. Anyway, let me get to the point. Everything still requires silver and silver is still the main currency as of right now. Keep in mind that the auto match channel modes and singularities are the only and the best silver source available as of right now. The goddess ray also offer the silver chest but it is too difficult for the player to beat the raid without the proper gears or skill builds. This also applies for the few version of singularity content as well. Now, the new farming strategy that I'm about to introduce is no different than the previous farming method. You enter the solo channel modes, you let your high level sister do all the work, and you claim the reward at the end. However, the only catch is that you only need a level 100 catcher and above to enter the low level channel modes areas. One thing that surprised me the most is that you receive the same reward at the high level map. A decent amount of nuclear serial powder, two pleasure and a sister albums and tumped. Some low level map includes feminine suppers, forest of prayers and many many more. I will cover these areas later on, but first thing first, I will show you how to get your catcher to level 100 as soon as possible. Getting a new catcher to 100 is pretty easy by the way because all you have to do is do the Capital Warp Stones to teleport back to the city after you create a new catcher, level it up to 15 outside the city, go back to town and purchase the pre spot for the player shop, teleport to Chanis Church second floor with the token teleports and level your catcher up to 75. If you don't have the token, you can always find a safe shop in town by the way. Go back to Capital Cities and claim free equipment from Wing of Vivor NPC. Head over to the Dungeon NPC and clear 3x Dungeon level 50 runs. Use the token and teleport to the Feminine City and get ready to run the channel modes. All of this only take between 30 minutes up to 45 minutes depending on how fast you are by the way. Keep in mind that the more character you have, the more reward you can earn daily. Your goal is to clear the low level channel modes and claim some of the valuable items such as the blast shards, raystone recipes, 450 nuclear and 450 serial powders, equipments, apples, crafting recipe, and skill gems. You are not going to farm silver with these few channel modes by the way, but these items provide you the best possible silver output to trade. Flesh shard is useful for crafting and transcending items. A lot of endgame players want flesh shard as they want to use it as a tradable currency. Most endgame players have a tons of challenge portal scrolls as resources, so I will not be surprised if they are willing to trade the scroll for the flesh shard. Take advantages of this by the way. The Raystone recipe is the number one to go item for the endgame contents like Holy Relic Dungeon, Legend Raid Dungeons, etc. It is worth way more compared to the challenge mode portal scrolls. You can always sell this on the market. Nuclear and serial powders are the most profitable items to the few channel modes. Let me explain why. These items are part of the endgame crafting such as the Goddess and Demonic Anchors, Art Materials, Condensed Recipe, and many many more. People are willing to buy a ton of this at the right price. I recommend selling the nuclear powders at 110 silver each and 330 each for serial powder. 
For the result, check out the following clips. I managed to hold on to a ton of silver and nuclear powders after the goddess update hit. I made roughly around 100 millions of silvers after 21 days of AFK farming in the solo channel modes. Some equipment has silver values on them by the way, so sell them to the NPC to get more silver. The all and crafting recipes are the item that you should hold on to as long as possible. These items has personal trade on them and you can use it as a tradable currency when you trade with other players with token effects. And lastly, that is the skill gem. The skill gem usually take a long time to sell on the market, but the skill gem will sell pretty fast if you farm the right gem that are on demand. Now that you understand the values of these items, let's go ahead and explore some of the low level few challenge most maps. The Feminine Suppress provide you the best offer plus the crafting recipe farming role and it is easy to access because it's right outside of the Feminine City. The Opal and crafting recipes are the most valuable tradable currency items you can either sell them or keep them for yourself for trading. The Force of Prayer is pretty interesting so far because you can farm the body arrows and pouncing gems. The rest of the items is either extra equipment or extra materials. The old burial ground drop a ton of recipe that you can use as a tradable currency. Man has, has a sharp spear gems which is useful for the hop tower class. The main strategy here is to collect nuclear and zero powders because they are the harder to go items and many players are willing to spend silver to buy them. A single run of the solo channels will provide you around 450 nuclear and 450 zero powders. It is worth around 198,000 or 178,200 after 10% taxes with the token. Meaning you have already made the money back by selling the powders alone while you can maximize out the rest of the profit with raw silver by selling the recipe or the equipment. In this situation, the more character you have, the more silver income you gain, and the more resources and vegetables that you can use to upgrade your character. Even if you don't have a lot of character, you can still make a decent amount of profit daily with nuclear and zero powders. Additionally, you can always pick up the high level map if your character already out level for the low level map channel most. I have already made a list available for the previous incomplete guide, which you can find it in the video description below, so feel free to check it out. With that being said, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sadochi once again, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.